Did a great job with the promotions. Um, just to see the lighter weights fight like this. I mean, I'm sure you know. First press conference I ever did. I think it was two people holding up uh, little uh, video recorders, and uh, wasn't very many people. Legal in three states, um, live on the internet, and it was a risk back then. Everybody took one, but there were some of us that this is what we wanted to do. This was what we were chosen to do. This was our living. This is how I wanted to live was to be in MMA. And a step back and being something like this with this magnitude. I mean, I pioneered a lot of things when, uh, you know, me and BJ Penn had 155 for the title at the Mohegan Sun. I mean, done a lot of things. But this right here, right now, is the biggest moment, the biggest opportunity, not just for myself, but for all of us. I mean, you know, Miguel Torres, phenomenal champion, looking to make a defense in a crowd. If you were to ask him probably two years ago, would he ever fight in a crowd like this? We probably wouldn't have said no because we didn't have a home. The little guys didn't have a home. Heavyweights, 205s, 85s, they had a home, but we didn't. And it was because of this man right here, really, for me, at 145. He went out there, and he didn't go up to 55. I'm sure they all asked him to go 55. Hey, go into UFC. You can get your fame. You can get your glory. You can get some camera time. But he stayed down at 45, and he pushed. And that's one of the things why I have nothing but respect and admiration for this man as a champion. And what he's done is because, you know, he's pioneered a lot as well. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have a 145-pound home. I firmly believe that. So with that being said, the fighter, I'm looking forward to getting out there. Um, I've had a world title before, but this time, this is the biggest. This is the biggest for me because it's where it is right now because of all of you because there's not just two people sitting in this press conference there's an entire group there's a mass media watching behind these cameras there's a lot of things that were never here before and really all i can do is sit back and just take a big breath and go wow this has been an absolute amazing amazing growth not just the sport not just the little guys but the wc you know and for myself um i'm gonna come out there hard I wouldn't disrespect your ride favor any other way. A lot of people always said, bring the A game, bring, you know, I'm like, well, I definitely ain't gonna bring that JV game, I promise you. And why I train so hard for this, like I said, I don't need bad blood, I don't need animosity, I got no hatred, hated words for this man. He said it best. We're gonna have to get out there on Sunday and we're gonna do it. There ain't nothing else, let the actions do the speaking. And that's the way I think a lot of people, period, in life need to understand. Let your actions do your talking. And, uh, so this fight's gonna be an amazing fight for one reason, because everybody's gotten behind it. Everybody's gotten in there, everybody's gonna be sitting down, everybody's gonna be witnessing this. And I know for myself, I don't wanna speak for the champ, but for myself, my best way to say thank you to all of you is to go out there and 100%, fight 100%, leave everything I got in that cage, and go after that world title. So I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday. It's gonna be a blast, man.